A lot of people were confronting me in the post I made about Taylor Swift and this little ritual. And I get it. A lot of people thought that was Madonna because she did these similar rituals. And I can't prove who it is, okay? But because of that, I did a little bit of digging. You're going to want to see what I found. Now, I'm going to say this is literally deep proof that Taylor Swift is involved in demonic rituals, but I know all the excuses already. I know what you're going to say. Don't bother trying to convince me, though. I already know what I believe, and I'm not going to be like, oh, this is just art or anything like that, okay? So check this out. This is not art, and if it is art, it's evil art. Now, all these secular artists are controlled by demonic forces, okay? That's just straight up how it is, so I don't really care who does what when I expose people. They're still all controlled by the enemy anyway. But try to tell me this isn't Taylor this time. Check this out. And that's not it. I mean, okay, we have this stuff that's really witchy, okay? But there's also other articles like seven rituals to know before going to a Taylor Swift concert if you're a true fan. What's up with that? My friends, the Bible says to be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. We need to be on guard because I'm telling you, there's things out there. They're trying to come after your kids, your families. They're trying to come after you yourself. There's a lot of deception out there. The deception is just creeping out the door. Jesus says the path is narrow that leads to life and the path to destruction is broad. And of course, I'm just making this for your entertainment. You know, it's you're my friends, of course. Of course, I don't believe that the whole secular industry of music is controlled by demonic activity. I mean, who would believe that? But follow if you want to hear more about this stuff, because this is just the beginning. I got more to say.